All right, so this drive shaft was painted white by the company that made it, and this is a badass drive shaft made by Randy's Drive Shaft Shop in Houston. But this paint uh, hasn't held up that great, and it just looks dirty. So we're about to clean this thing up and paint it black to match everything else. Yeah, so this drive shaft was painted white, and it really didn't look that great. Half the paint was flaking off, and it just kind of looked bad. So we ended up taking a wire wheel and then a, a sanding wheel and really we pretty much got all the paint off the center section we even got it nice and cleaned now these parts here these have been wire wheeled but not sanded and it's just you'd have to take all this apart it'd be a nightmare to clean all the insides of that so basically we're just gonna we, we did what we could so you can see like on the outsides here most of the paint's gone but there's still some there but anyway we're gonna take a little bit of sandpaper give this like two or three minutes of reaching in there and trying to there's a little bit of rust here and there. We're gonna to try to knock that loose. And then uh, acetone the whole thing and paint it black. So hopefully this will look much better than before. All right, so we got this all cleaned up. We masked off uh, that part of the yoke. Back here where it hooks to the rear end, just that face. We uh, cleaned everything. You can see some of these rags. We kind of cleaned it pretty good and then gave it a wipe down probably three times with acetone. And it's coming back pretty clean. So, here we go. Paint it black. Alright, I had an idea. I'm so horrible at painting that it couldn't get worse by filming and painting at the same time. So we're going to try that. Probably shouldn't hand out painting advice but i'm trying to get the paint up in the hard parts i'm not even worrying about what's on the outside right now yeah like i said i'm not the painter so probably should disagree basically probably just do the opposite of whatever i'm doing Yeah, who knows, this doesn't even look that bad, but, you know, famous last words and all.
Yep, pretty sure I'm putting way too much paint. Yeah, so I probably should have stopped. We're gonna finish this and probably we'll see how that turns out. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so we just painted over here and we'll see how it turns out, but I put too much paint, so it's probably gonna run and look like hell. So we're gonna paint this side and I'm a terrible painter, so I'm just gonna, I figured it can't get much worse. So I'm gonna film it with one hand and paint with the other and see what happens. So basically I'm gonna try to spray all the hard to get to stuff first and not worry about the easy stuff. You do the easy stuff last, you just touch it up. So, let's we'll see what happens. Well, there's still time to mess this up, but this looks better than the other side I did. Well, there we go. Uh, I accidentally ran this side into the bench while I was painting that side. So we're gonna check. There's probably some screwed up spot somewhere. Or maybe not, maybe we'll get lucky. Hmm. Well, now I just gotta paint the center section. Well guys, this is what I call the calm before the storm. So when I paint stuff and it's wet, it usually looks great. And then when it dries, reality sets in. But right now this thing is wet. I just finished spraying like 20 seconds ago and it looks awesome. So we'll see what the paint gods have to say in a couple hours. But as of now, 
this looks this looks good well it's been a little over an hour and so far this dry shaft looks awesome man it's kind of hard to capture sheen on a video maybe that kind of shows up but anyway it's high gloss it looks pretty good so I think we're gonna paint man this really makes me want to paint the transmission the same color so it all matches yeah you can kind of see reflections in the paint a little bit anyway this turned out awesome so yeah I think we're gonna paint the trans that's gonna add a lot more time getting it all cleaned but I think it's gonna be worth it because this looks great and I know the car needs a paint job and the motor needs to get cleaned up but this is what we're working on right now I want to put it back better than it was so yeah, I think we're going to have to paint that trans too.